gonna make potato dumplings. Just get potatoes, peel them, put them to cook, just like for uh, you would do mashed potatoes until they're all cooked. Now that our potatoes are cooked, the way you check them that they're cooked is you just poke it with the fork and if it goes through it means they're already cooked. Now we're gonna dump the water off out. I mean dump the water out of the potatoes and make mashed potatoes out of them. Okay now we're gonna use butter. Two tablespoons right here you have spoons six of them just cut it off and put it in the potatoes our potatoes have no water anymore then I use a little bit of salt and make your mashed potatoes Okay, now that I've made mashed potatoes, I usually do it with butter and um, milk, and they're more fluffy, but this time I just put butter, because we're doing potato dumplings. Now we need to add two eggs. cup of actually this is a cup and a half let me see right here one and a half cup of flour all-purpose flour I'm gonna try one cup first and see mix it all out and make sure it's more sturdy Okay, now that we mixed the potatoes, you gotta let them cool down a little bit. And it looks like I made a lot of potatoes because I probably peeled like 10 or 15. So I'm gonna do it by batches. And I think I added, for 15 potatoes, I added two cups of flour. Basically you can add some more when you roll the dough like this into the dough. It looks like potatoes are still a little bit moist that's why it's kind of doesn't want to roll. Add them into pieces. Dumplings, you can do either like our circles and dump it into the water or just like that when you cut it into pieces and dump them that way. It's all up to you, however you want to do it. Okay, after dumplings are done, probably takes like five minutes to cook them because since they already have flour just put them in that dish and then we're gonna make some topping for the dumplings which is gonna be onion bacon and garlic Okay, now we're gonna cut some bacon. You can use any kind of bacon. I'm using, um, uh, what's it called, the uh, turkey bacon. Just cut it like that, cut it little pieces, and I'm gonna fry it. I'm 
single pieces. Okay, it's fine. It's ready to go on the stove. Cook some bacon. And then we'll fry some bacon. And the oil is ready. It's on the high, so we're going to put it on the low. I'm going to cook a little. And then we're going to add some onions. Okay, we're adding some onions. It's actually one onion that I cut. Okay, now that the onions are fried a little, we'll add garlic. Mix the garlic in and it's all done. Just put them all over your dumplings. And it's ready to eat. Dumplings are ready to eat. Let's dig in. Made potato dumplings today. <laughs> Smells so good. Gonna try some. Oh, yay! Okay, let's try some dumplings. It's potato dumplings. Bacon, onion, mm-mm-mm.